Hello everyone, and you'll probably hear some crickets and some nature in the background for the first minute or so, but it kind of helps me think. I'm going back to this creek dam that I uh, visited a year and a half or so ago, built in the late 1800s and served power for a town called Heflin, Alabama until the 1920s. Then Alabama Power in 1926 dismantled it. Alabama Power was founded in 1907. In 1882, the first transmission of power was invented, the power line. And here in America, what I could find, the first transmission of power, 1889, Oregon. So it leads me back to this video, as this tiny little creek dam supplied power to Heflin, Alabama. Five or six miles away, power lines? I don't know. In the middle of nowhere, I do know that. Then it led me to the courthouse in Heflin, and what a fiasco. So let's check it out. Thanks for being here. And as always, it's your reality. So here we have the layout of where the Rocky Creek Dam is located in the middle of nowhere obviously this is a train track runs all the way to town here's the interstate here and the main road going into Heflin is this road here so Heflin to give a reference is in this area and apparently instead of making something with this water system here to make power for the city they chose to come way out here and what you do is you park down this area here and the trail runs all the way here and cuts left until you get to this tiny dam right here there's absolutely nothing around here at all and this was supposed to be this is about i think around five or six miles from that creek point to the town here and we're also going to be looking at this courthouse right here 1907 so here's the Claiborne County Courthouse July 4th 1907 is the build they say doesn't say a start date or anything just uh, that was when it was built it's telling about the dam here it says this was used as electric power source for the city of Heflin until the 1920s when Alabama power arrived Alabama Power Company, founded in 1906. So just some quick research on when the first power lines arrived in Alabama. Here's one saying 1924, the first rural electric power line in Alabama was built. This place in Lily Flag, it's, uh, I believe that's around North Alabama, around the Huntsville area. Here's another one, Madison County. 1920 the company built its first rural distribution line in Madison County in northeastern Alabama so now we have a 1920 date here are a couple of pictures of the courthouse in Heflin Claiborne County another shot right here here's the population of Heflin so around this area here is when this creek dam was supposed to be supplying power to, we'll just say, this many people here. I have to say, this looks like a chaotic mini World's Fair event here. So this was before 1907, because that's when they said it was built but they don't give any, uh, give any other dates, so. 
Look at all this going on. It's like a madhouse. People everywhere. And you've got the old umbrella thing going on. You got this guy back here. It's a little fuzzy, of course, but what's this guy doing back here? His legs seem to be a little bow legged here. A lot of strange things going on. I see some piles of bricks, it looks like. Different. And these look mangled over there. Umbrella City. Have another pile of bricks over here. Men, women, people just piling all over this place. Now, in my opinion, I would say it looks like this might have been just here. And they found it. And they added on to it. I don't know. What in the hell is really going on here? This is just crazy. Now, we're only supposed to have a thousand, maybe a thousand people in this town. And about half of them showed up for whatever's going on here. What do you think they're talking about? Look at this guy. Is, this, is he going over this board with one leg? He should be more careful. I really haven't seen anything like this before. Researching and then all of a sudden, uh, this is the only construction picture they have. If that's what you call this. Is it raining? I mean, you, you can't tell. The skies are whited out, but... Here's a cornerstone on the courthouse here. A hundredth anniversary. July 4th, 2007. Hmm. Grand Master Wayne Causey. Presiding. Yeah, this seems very typical. In the middle of nowhere. Pieces of structure all over this place. Closer shot of what's going on there. To me, it looks like you've got some kind of transitioning going on within this structure at some time, at some point. Crystallizing. Here we've got this material, different material than what you would think would be cement. Built in whatever they don't even say has to be late 1800s. Of course, I did find some bricks, so here they are. Here and this boulder, what they would call a boulder, is just merged with all of this concrete looking stuff. To me, this whole building has changed more than likely. Brick and mortar, there it is. And honestly, no matter what you think, uh, this this doesn't make any sense. All this together and merged, and it's just a mess. It's really it's not even supposed to be that old. Dismantled. Nineteen twenty six. In the middle of nowhere. Why do you have to dismantle anything in the middle of nowhere? Hmm. The whole landscape is is structure. This is 90 degree, you would, most would probably call this nature. This is structure. Of course, this is structure, but it seems like it all was structure. In the water, 90 degree blocks. Almost see some kind of lines here. Check this mess out. What? So you have that concrete looking stuff all in it and through it and all these jagged boulders and rocks and what a mess. See here? Squared. But this side didn't make it as well as this side over here. Another block.
I just got to show this again. It's like a frat party in the early 1900s. Maybe. I mean, it's just a picture. That's all we know.